These are not just statistics to me. We know that long-term unemployment is devastating to workers and their families. Janet Yellen feels your pain. The 67-year-old economist has spent her life in academia and the halls of Washington, but friends say her focus has always been the human side of economics. Janet Yellen is an unusually empathetic person. She looks beyond the numbers and statistics at what is really going on in people's minds and how people are suffering. Yellen was an overachiever from the start. A high school classmate from Brooklyn calls her the smartest girl in the class by far. She was the valedictorian at Brown University's Women's College in 1967 and earned her doctorate at Yale, where her advisor was Nobel Prize winner James Tobin, one of the most influential liberal economists of his era. Yellen concentrated her research on employment. She theorized that cutting wages lowers productivity because it makes workers feel underpaid and unhappy. She spent more than a decade on the faculty at Berkeley before President Clinton appointed her to the Fed Board of Governors in 1994 and then brought her to the White House as his top economic advisor. Politics weren't her thing, though. She left the administration after two years to go back to teaching. In 2004, Yellen returned to the central bank, first as president of the San Francisco Fed, and since 2010, back in Washington as vice chairman under Ben Bernanke. She's been a strong advocate for the Fed stimulus programs and makes no secret of the fact that her focus, once again, is on jobs. With employment, so far from its maximum level, and with inflation running below the committee's 2% objective, I believe it's appropriate for progress in the labor market to take center stage in the conduct of monetary policy.